All right, now let's get to new information on a real tragedy in Detroit's west side. A five year old is shot and killed by an 18 month old who found an unsecured gun. It happened at a home on Sturdivant near the Lodge and the Davison. Rod Maloney is live and Rod, I understand the father is now in custody. Yes, he is. He's also under arrest, Kimberly, and, and I don't think we want to speed past the real impact here. We're talking about a toddler. 18 months old in a house, sees a 9 millimeter Glock sitting on a table, picks it up, starts playing with it, and shoots his five-year-old cousin. Now, Tiffany uh, Stewart, who is the uh, 10th Precinct Commander here in the city of Detroit, talked to us today about this very tragic situation. And this is what we're dealing with, a baby shot and killed, and it was avoidable. This is a red and white house at the corner of Sturdivant and LaSalle, sitting among boarded up and burned out homes on Detroit's northwest side. Detroit police tell us a father, a grandmother, and three children, a year-old baby girl, an 18-month-old baby boy, and a five-year-old boy, he was the 18-month-old's cousin, were in the house. A 911 call came from inside. It was reported at the time that an 18-month-old got a hold of a gun inside of the home, started playing with it and accidentally shot the five year old. When the first DPD unit arrived, they found the boy bleeding from his neck, rushed him to the hospital. He later died there. Shortly thereafter, with child abuse investigators at the scene, Detroit police took this man. Family members identified him as the deceased child's father and also the uncle of the 18 month old who police say pulled the trigger into custody for questioning. A few hours later, DPD arrested him. Grief stricken relatives quickly showed up at the scene. Commander Stewart lamented a lack of firearm safety in the home and really across the city. This is why we emphasize gun safety in the city of Detroit with gun locks and lock boxes so that we don't have circumstances like this. It has been far too many of these type of circumstances in the city of Detroit. Now, Detroit police are telling us tonight that the two children who survived this incident are with the grandmother in the home. In the meantime, we're still awaiting word on an arraignment for the father that could come as soon as tomorrow, but perhaps later in the week. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.